you, <coughs> I want to greet you once again, my viewers. I am talking about the answering the call and the consequences of not answering the call. And uh, I have been talking about Jonah, that when he ran away from God's calling, he went down, he paid a fare, he went on board of the wrong ship, he went down into deep sleep, he made storms that almost crushed the ship. I also want to add that when you run away from God's calling, away from God, you lose property. The captain of the ship decided to throw away all the cargo so that the ship could be light and not sink. And he throw out food, throw out clothing, throw out all the bags, but the storm continued even to be worse. Worse and worse and worse. And I want to challenge you, my brother and my sister, that when you run away from God, you lose. You lose your life. You lose your focus. You lose your, your confidence. You lose your money. You lose. Some people have even lost their children, their husbands, their relatives because of their rebellion. I want you to come out of rebellion before you begin losing. The entire crew, the entire ship, all the passengers lost their property because of rebellion. And I, nations have lost their integrity. Leaders have lost their integrity. People have lost their education because of rebellion, because of unwanted pregnancies, because of corruption. People have lost their jobs. People have lost so many things. They have lost their peace. They have lost their conscience. They have lost their truth because they have run away from God. How much have you lost from your rebellion? I want to challenge you in the name of Jesus that God is calling you to repent before you lose more. You have already lost your self-esteem. You have lost your security. You have already lost your name lost your significance. Come out of rebellion in the name of Jesus before you lose more. Some of you have lost your wives. They have divorced you. They have separated from you. Some of you have lost your husbands. They have run away from you. Some of you have lost your sexual pleasure with your marriage partner because you have run away from God and got involved into so many things. Come out of rebellion before you lose. Many people have lost their fellowship with their children. They have lost their fellowship with their partners. They have lost their loans. They have lost their friendships because of their rebellion. And I want to challenge you, my brother and my sister, come out of rebellion before it is too late. And Jonah also, he failed to pray. The captain of the ship commanded everybody to pray. And I want to thank God for this captain because this captain discovered that the problem was spiritual. The storm was spiritual. He said, let everybody pray in the name of his God so that we can be forgiven. Let everybody repent. Let everybody cry to his God so that he can stop 
he discovered it was spiritual. So when everybody prayed, those who worshipped dogs, those who worshipped trees and stones and snakes and sun and the moon and mountains, they all worshipped their wicked gods, their idols. But the man of God, the prophet of God, failed to pray because he was already sleeping in a deep sleep at the bottom of the ship. A man of God failed to pray because he was rebelling against God. I thank God for the captain. He did not only find out that the thing was spiritual, he also went with his torch to look for one passenger who had a long beard. The prophets at that time, they had a long beard. So when they checked all the passengers, he was not there. And so he went down looking for this passenger. From room to room, from place to place. And I want to challenge you that that captain, today the captain is Jesus Christ. He's looking for you, sinner, wherever you are. He's looking for you wherever you disappeared. He's looking for you wherever you are hiding. He's looking for you in your deep sleep. He has come to wake you up. And when he died, went down, he had somebody snoring. Oh, roar, oh, oh, oh. uh, In a store underneath the ship. And he went there and woke him up. And he said, how can you sleep? When the ship is sinking. How can you sleep when the ship is sinking? Come out and pray to your God so that this storm can be stopped. And I want to ask you that question before I end this broadcast. How can you sleep when your family is sinking? How can you sleep when your marriage is sinking? How can you sleep when your country is sinking? How can you sleep when corruption is sinking you? How can you sleep when your children are sinking? How can you sleep when your businesses are sinking? How can you sleep when our schools are sinking? How can you sleep when homosexuality is spreading like fire? How can you sleep when murder and torture is increasing? How can you sleep? How can you sleep when the church is sinking? How can you sleep when the Anglican church has endorsed homosexuality in England? How can you sleep when you don't have money? How can you sleep when witchcraft is raising? When witch doctors are now more than medical doctors? How can you sleep when drunkenness? And drug addiction is destroying our children. How can you sleep? Today, the captain is asking me that question. And I pray that God will empower you to answer that question. How can you sleep when the nation is sinking, when the cities are sinking? It's time for us to wake up. May God bless you as you think about this message of answering the call and as you think about that question, how can you sleep when your family, your nation, your city is sinking? God bless you. Have a wonderful time.